In this question, we're asked to find the equation of the line through the point 6, negative 9, but we want it to be perpendicular to this given line, y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 4. And also in this question, we're told that we have to give the answer in slope-intercept form. So we start by trying to find the slope of the given line, y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 4. Thankfully, it's already in slope-intercept form, so we don't have to do any manipulation to get the slope out of it. The slope is negative 3 over 5. Now, knowing what we know about perpendicular lines, which is that they have negative inverse slopes of each other, the negative of a negative would be a positive, and the inverse of 3 over 5 would be 5 over 3. So again, as a review, when we're trying to find the slope of a perpendicular line, we change the sign of the given slope, and then we flip the number. So this gives us positive 5 thirds. So what this question really turns into then is find the equation of the line that passes through 6 comma negative 9 with a slope of 5 thirds. We can start with using the point slope form, y minus y1, which will be negative 9, equals m, which is 5 thirds, times the quantity x minus x1, which is 6. A negative times a negative will make a positive, so we get y plus 9 equals 5 thirds x minus 6. At this stage, we can multiply this 3 that's in the denominator over to the other side. We're doing this so that we don't have to distribute the fraction and create 2 when we're starting with just 1. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 3 actually gets rid or clears this fraction. So if we multiply the 3 over to the other side, we get 3 times the quantity y plus 9 equals the 5 remains here times the quantity x minus 6. We can distribute both the 3 and the 5, which would give us 3y plus 27. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times 9 is 27. And then on the other side, 5 times x would give us 5x. 5 times negative 6 would give us negative 30. Remember, we're looking for the line to be in slope-intercept form, so we need to isolate the y. So at this stage, we can subtract the 27 over to the other side. That will give us 3y equals 5x minus 30 minus the 27. We can combine like terms and get 3y equals 5x minus 57, which comes again from negative 30 minus 27. And lastly, the finishing touch is to get rid of this 3. So we divide the 3 over to the other side, or we can say that we divide each term of the equation by 3. They both serve the same purpose. So this gives us y equals 5 thirds x minus 57 over 3. This is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this one, but it passes through this point instead, and it is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So we satisfied all conditions given to us in the problem.